Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're having an amazing, positive day. We are live with our third Naked Report. Everybody that dares to do part of these uh, risque Naked Reports. We have here Rudy from On The Mothership. And of course, that's going to take us to a really interesting subject later on. <laughs> How are you? What's up? Doing good, doing good. Doing Stuck good, in traffic a little bit, but made it out. Yep. It's, it's Miami. It's Miami. Yeah. It's crazy. But and Art Basel, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true, Art Basel. It's like we went so many years to Art Basel that we just... You kind of got tired of it. That's that true. I mean, That's true. Yeah, I got water. It's something like it was a little watered down, you know. So yeah. Have you ever <laughs> been to Art Basel? Of course. Yeah. Have, what did you think of the art? Um, I like when it started more, but then yeah. I think it got a little bit too commercialized. But I do, I do like the part that there's more music involved. So it turned into like a little mini win winter music conference, yeah. right? Like so Winwood. I do like that. Like yeah, the whole yeah. Winwood vibe. You know? I think we was still doing it pretty good, so they're keeping it. But yeah, um, yeah. for me it was more like when you go and you see stuff that it's like. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the abstract you, you, stuff. Yeah, you're like, what the? I don't know if abstract, but, you know, stuff that it's like, is that really, could that really, really be like called art? Like that Dada art? art. Like, yo, <laughs> you just write your name on a toilet. For, exactly. <laughs> a toilet. exactly. Oh, it's my art. Yeah, it'd be $10,000, please. <laughs> How did you know I was thinking of a toilet? I, no, no. <laughs> I swear, I was thinking of a You were thinking of a toilet, yeah? All right, all right. There was, this, there was this gold toilet that said expensive shit, and it was literally like $15,000. What the fuck? And oh, it was painted damn. gold. That's terrible. Expensive shit. It's funny, though. Expensive shit is a fucking toilet. Imagine walking getting. into a house and having that just, you know, to have it. It's so fucking lame. All right, Yo. so Rudy uh, is doing, I mean, you're into so many things. You're a techie. Yep, Let's call yep. it, we're going to call you a nerd. Yeah, call, in a good way, of course, because you're very nerd. smart yeah. in that case. <laughs> uh, you're into music, yeah. you're into drums, and you just started your own show. Well, you yes. had one, but now you changed the name into On yes, the Mothership. Exactly. Well, exactly. call my attention, of course. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yep, I call see. Peter's attention here. Yep. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about it. So, yeah, we've been, we've been running the show for about a year and a half. And, uh, yeah, we bring a lot of DJs, instrumentalists, vocalists, dancers. Uh, and now we're, we're, we're creating like a round table discussion. We're bringing oh. like people that are into cryptocurrency and developers and people that What's are in cryptocurrency? high cryptocurrency, you know, like Bitcoin, you know, the oh, huge okay, okay, Bitcoin okay, yeah, yeah. crazy. Okay. So crazy. So, uh, yeah, I've been getting heavy into that. So we could talk a little bit about that, too. You know, okay. about some cryptocurrency. Well, and I have yeah. no idea anything about I mean, I know what Bitcoins are, but I never really understood them. They're like virtual. It's, it's virtual money. It's right? virtual money. It's virtual money. Like, OK. Regular money is fiat currency. It has no value. You okay. know, regular money has no value. Yeah, and neither does Bitcoin. But see, everyone's <laughs> under the illusion. Like, see, if people get into something that, you know, they're trying to give value to, 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 to something stored. You know, stored value. Okay. Like, like I said, money in itself has no value. Neither does Bitcoin. But it's blowing up right now. Right. So, you know, it's, it's all about riding the wave. Buy low, sell high. That's what it's about. Buy low, sell high. So you got to keep, keep your eye out on it. You know, right now it's, it's about, it actually hit about almost $20,000 per Bitcoin. So one that, coin yeah. is $20,000. So people that invested many years ago when it started. Oh now my God. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the whole thing, the whole regret <laughs> thing is it, at one time, like in 2009, 2010, it was worth like $50 or $10. You could have bought each a, Bitcoin. Each Bitcoin. You could have bought it for $10 and it would be worth $20,000 $20, right now. Damn. What were we thinking? <laughs> yeah, I know. Damn. Wait, <laughs> have you heard that the president of Venezuela uh, said he was? <laughs> I heard. I heard. What, what was it called? Um, uh, he's coming out with a coin called Petro. There you go. Yeah, the exactly. Petro coin. And he the said he invented coin. it, but really Chavez is the one that <laughs> came up with it. Yo, so is that going to happen? Do you think that's going to happen? I think it's going to happen. Sure. No, look, anyone can come up with a coin. I'm actually working on a coin myself. I don't want to talk about it too the much. The alien coin? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, they got an alien coin. Damn. But <laughs> it's going to have to be, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, they do, they do. I don't believe you. Yeah, they got a few alien coins. Yeah. Wait, how, how does that work? It's basically, <laughs> basically, look, it's about, it's about something called blockchain technology, first of all, which okay. is basically like, um, that's what allows you to create the coin because um, the coins are, are tied into this this infrastructure, this algorithm. Okay. I mean, we can go deep in it. I don't want to like. No, no, no. You know, I mean, well, I, we don't want to, you know, scare them and make them go. Yeah. Away. <laughs> like, but basically, you're doing good. You're good. Yeah. Out of the service. Okay. Basically, going. it's like um, it requires just a little bit of development and programming tech, you know, uh, knowledge or whatever. You put it together. You put it on your server. You create an e-wallet is where you store right. your bitcoins and then you create the blockchain and then so you're getting like you know, a license for it right I mean, sort of but it's but it's open source what's cool so about anybody it, could go in. anybody could grab the code modify and you create you don't have to give the rights to anyone and boom and it's grassroots it's the hacker movement it's the real hacker movement see huh. what i mean it's like it's the hacker movement that's becoming kind of mainstream so that's what kind of in a way but I don't, I don't, i'm sorry maybe because I'm, uh, my hair is tainted long, yeah. but <laughs> I, I mean, I don't get it. Like, how does that even have value? Okay, like, uh -huh. if you go today and you create a coin, right? Uh -huh. 
Who's gonna buy it? Well, see, it's all about blowing it up. It's and, all about marketing. And is marketing. the government gonna? Oh, the government's not digging it. The Federal Reserve is not like, digging it right now. Like they're they don't not like gonna it. approve it. They're gonna. Well, they're leaving it alone right now. But see, there, there, there's talks about a Fed coin, which is the Federal Reserve's version of the coin. Okay. So what? what there's rumors out there. It's kind of conspiratorial. Where they're gonna. I like conspiracy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they're gonna illegalize, right? All the all the cryptocurrencies and only keep that Fed coin legal and then have everyone le have to convert to right. their coin something like that. So, so they already had somebody else do the marketing and then they jumped in, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Fuckers. See, <laughs> yeah, it's sneaky. There's some sneaky shit going on, but it's it's like revolutionary times. I mean, you feel like you know everyone's jumping on, it's blowing up. I mean, a lot of the the, the big financiers or whatever they don't like Bitcoin because the range, like there were actually about two days ago, the, it went from about. Thirteen thousand and a half to about nineteen thousand and a half. That's like, that's, a that's like huge. fucking four thousand dollars. Like people made like four thousand dollars in like three days. And just like, because people are starting to use it more and more, right? Starting to well, you can use Bitcoin, right? You can kind of some merchants accept it, but to tell you the truth, it's not even for using it. It's for investing. It's like an investment vehicle, right? You jump in it, you ride up like a company. Like a company. The more yeah. people, yeah, this is like stocks. The more people jump into it, the higher it rises. So there's billions going in there right now, you know? So wh why does somebody invent an alien Bitcoin? Um, Just because? Or just because. I mean, it depends. There's different, life, different reasons. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It's rumored that the, 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 the person, uh, his name is Sa Satoshi Nakamoro, right? Well, anyways, this, is, this is supposedly like an alias, right? He, maybe he doesn't even exist, right? Okay. And they, they're saying that it was an artificial intelligence alien life that actually created that code because it's so perfect, right? Okay, that just kind of blew my mind right there. <laughs> Are you just coming up with this? No, no, no. It's all serious. I know it sounds like science fiction and shit, but it's like, it's real. It's real, it's real shit. It's this, real this, shit. this interview is going to be funner than I thought. He's, you know, he has a lot of information we're going to get out of him today. Okay, somebody's saying, laughing my ass off. <laughs> what an irrelevant question I asked. Proves the old saying, you should look before you leap. <laughs> Wait, what did you ask? Um, can a man and a woman ever just be friends? Oh, okay, you wanted to talk about love. Well, how about we, you know, invite him the next time and we can talk about relationships, why That's not? Cool. Yeah. I, th I think he has a lot to offer, so. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're, get, we're gonna stick to technology, UFOs, conspiracies, and your show, which you were yeah, getting back exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, for sure. We just went on off on tangent. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, That's like, yeah, go, we go off on this. <laughs> okay, so, uh, mainly local Miami artists? Yeah, mainly local Miami artists. Sometimes we get, uh, you know, someone from the outside that's coming in, you know, and uh, and then we, we feature them but yeah like I said it's an open format show and we feature just about ev anyone just about anyone whatever they comedians yeah. whatever they do and it's a three-hour show and it's an improvised show I was, the other day I had a whole <laughs> jazz band right and then I had a dude talking about like cryptocurrencies and I was inter <laughs> phone interviewing him and then guess what and then he like did poetry so we had him on a on the phone uh, 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 you know <laughs> into the mixer you know into the into the actual jam that the, the the jazz band was jamming and he was like Talk, you know, doing poetry and shit. So it was like fucking crazy. So it was know? like a, a lot of people. It's a mashup. At the same it's like mashup. <laughs> you know, it's like unorthodox as fuck, you know, all that kind of crazy stuff. Where can people know? see the show? www.demunknown.tv. Why them? Them Unknown. Actually, Them Unknown is another show that okay. goes on every Saturday from okay. 2 to 4 p.m. You know, okay. that's my partner, Tubby. And, t and Tubby is actually. Uh, 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 extraterrestrial also like you you never really see him you know it's a okay. voice it's a it's a downlink you know Wait, what do you mean also you're saying you're an extraterrestrial well yeah ha my yeah my genetic has been has is, is, is was I was infused into a human vessel yes Wait. you know yeah. that was a joke I can tell exactly <laughs> but I was infused into a Brazilian Brazilian so. Brazilian human <laughs> vessel and now I, I you know I am Brazilian <laughs> but that's just my human vessel you know but so isn't that how it is with all of us, though? I mean, yeah, We it's have true. a soul, and it it's goes true. into a vessel, and then the yes. vessel dies. And keeps I, like those, I like that topic, <laughs> though. <laughs> well, do you, so you believe in life after death? I do, for sure, for sure. Yeah, this is just a temporary, you know, uh, uh, time for learning here, you know, for growth. Do you like your temporary vessel? I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> You're happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with my if vessel. If you had to complain, what would you complain about? Um... No, no complaints. That's a good I'm question. Cool. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. It's like on the next life, I would like to be, uh, you know. <laughs> it's like that. No, I believe in that. I think that we're infused in, you know, we, we, sometimes, you know, we're this walk of life. No, I mean, this in this race or, or male, female, you know, whatever. It's like we're, we're just infused. We're just an infused spirit inside a vessel. 
So, you know, I believe in past lives and reincarnation and everything like that. I'm not into religion. I'm into spirituality. And I explored all religions and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it's interesting to explore all holy books. But I'm beyond religion. Religion is to, to the opium of the masses, to control the masses. So I'm not yeah, really into religion itself, you know. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we kind of all, I mean, at least the followers that we have, we kind of all agree on that. Nice. We think that religion is in a way of separating people, you know. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, most of the wars that, you know, have happened is because of religions. Exactly. So well, those are my <laughs> exact words. What I always, that's what I always say. Exactly. Mm -hmm. More people have died, uh, you know, because of religion <laughs> than any <laughs> reason. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, see, there's so many things to talk about I see here that I don't really know where to go from You don't know where to go. <laughs> where, wherever you take it, it's fun, you know, for sure. Okay, so why, why did you choose to call it On the Mothership? Oh, because I'm a Parliament fan, you know, Parliament Funkadelic from the 70s, you know. Okay. I love that whole movement. I love, you know, George Clinton had the whole Mothership on a stage, you know. It kind of comes from that, stems from that. And um, it's kind of like the mother, you know, the mother gives birth also. So we, we're, yes, we're a does. show that gives birth to many things. So oh, there's a lot of like meanings, you know, like that. Also, I, I, so. I didn't think about it. I, I was yeah. just thinking aliens. <laughs> yeah, the aliens, you know, birth, uh, uh, um, uh, mashup. I mean, really, I I I, I'm into mashup. Mashup is a great word because it's it's taking different multimedia's, it's taking different styles of music, different <laughs> art, di something that's never been done before, you know. And like we're in the digital age right now. It's, we're in a digital renaissance. It's time to fucking create some crazy shit. That's and true. and I'm, I'm all for that. I love, I, I get so inspired when I see someone create some, like, holographic technology, you know, like, bring back someone who died through a hologram. I love that shit. I live for that shit. Oh, dive through a hologram? No, no, no. Like, or like let, let's say, like, I saw, um, I saw the, uh, Tupac, right? Right. Performing oh, yeah. on stage. Like, you know, I think it was at the, um, at the Coachella, you know? Who makes money out of that? At Coachella? Like the, no, like... You know, because the person's dead, so it's all Wow, like, that's a good question now. I, I know, I know, right? <laughs> Damn, that's a heavy, that's a heavy legalities <laughs> round, I mean, I you know I thought about I mean? that when they did it with Michael Jackson. I'm like, I mean, it would make sense that it would go to the family, right? Yeah, you're right. But then whoever Damn. invented it is probably going to be like, nah, because I invented it. <laughs> I know, you're right. That's, that's so heavy right there. It's like, yeah, who takes the credit, you know, legally, like, exactly, the rights and the royalties, right? I think it's cool, I but I don't know. I don't know. I would have to think about it. That's a hard one, yeah. I don't know if I'm all for the holographic dead person show. <laughs> the holographic dead person show. I mean, I, I, mean I think it's cool because <clears throat> they're keeping the memory alive and the music. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. You're being cloned almost. Like, yeah, you're manifesting a clone in reality, you know? It's like... Maybe if they continue to do the same music they did when they were alive, but they're, like, creating new music. Whoa, that's kind of crazy, yeah. That's what they if did they with Michael Jackson. It was, like, new oh, music that did. never heard, like, nobody ever heard, and he was supposed to be coming up with them. So it's like, well, but it's not it's him, you know? It's like somebody else using his image to sell, I don't know. It's weird. And as technology <laughs> progresses, you know what's going to happen. I mean, when, because really... All, all you have to do is get a little piece of hair or a fucking swab, and they got the, your genetic code, you know? And then imagine when they're able to bring you, bring, bring, br you know, clone you in the future, but bring you back in a sense. But it's not really you, but it's a, it's a, it's a clone. It's your clone? Is it, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <we're just> <laughs> <laughs> this happens a lot. <laughs> Wait, how would you feel like if in the future, uh, with the whole hologram thing, mm -hmm. somebody comes up and says, well... Uh, now you can have your own hologram version of whoever passed away in your family. Like, would you be I'm okay for with that? I like it. I like yeah. it. I, I believe, you know, I believe God is a technologist. I, I believe that, you know. Like the Matrix? Yes, yes, <laughs> of course. We're in a complete Matrix. I know. It's, there's a lot of different Matrixes, you know. Yeah. I know. It gets complex. Yes. It's good to smoke a joint and get complex on it. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vision. <laughs> well, you know, that's... that's the purpose of the show, just be spontaneous. Um, somebody said, another lucky guy. <laughs> but he's cool, right? We like him so far. So, Okay, so um, do, you, do you believe in aliens? I mean, that, I that do. I do. Well, this is what I believe. I believe that God is another word for alien. Alien is another word for God. So the thing is, you know. Why? Well, Why? Because, I, because, because of this. Because, not, because an alien is not of this earth. Or it's, an alien is beyond this earth. Right, right so but supposedly uh, aliens are something that comes from another planet. Because well, if not, we will be calling spirits aliens. Yes, all right. Well, I believe in alien gods then. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I thought I had it. Okay. Okay, alien god. Okay. <laughs> so so uh, very wide. I've never heard of somebody saying that, but respected. Interesting. Alien god. An alien god. More, so more, for, a more you, advanced for you, being. what is god? 
Um, it's like a bead. God it's is energy. Okay. I also, I, yes, 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 yes. I mean, God, yeah, God is God is the universe. God is energy. God is God is God is everything that exists. God is the network, the matrix. In other words, everything is actually interconnected. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. I remember I remember tripping once, and that's when I saw the interconnectivity of what it you all. Mean, tripping? Tripping. You know, a little a little LSD and shit. You know, you trip trip a little mushroom and stuff. You know? No, I did not know. Now, okay. you know, He's but tripping. Okay. but 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 I saw totally I saw the interconnectivity, <laughs> you know, between all. And like, yeah, I loved it. You that's know? difficult to say. Yeah. I mean, you say something like that, and people are gonna say, "Well, that's because you were tripping. Oh, None of it was yeah. real." Well, no, no, no. You know what? I believe that even like you know substances like you know marijuana, mar cannabis, marijuana, whatever you know, shrooms, everything. I believe that that was that was. I believe that the alien gods infuse knowledge, and 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 and, and it allows us. It allow <laughs> that substance allows us to really see things for what they are, right? Okay. And so I believe that it's been infused in plants. The, this knowledge has been infused in plants for us to ingest and then for us to see things, you know? Okay. I can understand that. I mean, I, I do think that any... Now I'm not saying do any kind of substance, you yeah. guys, but, uh, but, you know, things that are natural, at least. I mean, in Mexico, you know, you have them, um, you know, people there doing uh, la ayahuasca, which oh, is... Oh, wow, that's heavy, that, yeah, right, that They do it, like, to connect with, you know, the spiritual beings and I guess with people that have passed away so I do think that maybe we're just so caught into like society and what's going on every day that something like that sometimes helps you mellow down and just shut off for a little bit and connect with your spiritual side exactly with, with, with what's inside natural know? inner exploration natural you know? drugs by the way yeah natural yeah I <laughs> which believe I guess aren't really true. drugs they're just uh, natural yeah like I look mean. there's chamomile there's <laughs> lemongrass and there's cannabis Cam you know Cannabis, chamomile? cannabis is like yeah, cannabis weed, you know. Marijuana. No, 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 but chamomile. Yeah. I mean, chamomile, I thought that was know. just for tea. Well, yeah, I mean, but it does something for you, you know. It mellows you out, you the know. The tea, There's or you a smoke it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, you can smoke it, but I, yeah, I mean, I've never yeah, heard of really that. Smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could. No, no, no. I, you, you drink it, you drink it, but it mellows oh, okay, you out. Okay, it's okay. really good, you know. It's like good for calming, and so is cannabis. But it's I, I treat I treat all herbs equal. Like you know, I hate how society. You know, uh, 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 you know, looks down upon certain uh, <laughs> herbs and stuff like that. It's all God's creation. You know what I mean? Like, let it be. You know, there's a purpose. There's a function for That's every true. herb. You know, so I really, I'm, I'm an herbalist. Also, I really like. I grow a lot of different types of herbs. You know, I, I for example, I, there's a herb uh, from Brazil. Uh, actually, it's, it, it turned into a tree now. It's called boldo, right? Tebaldo. Tedeboldo. Right. Okay, <laughs> Tedeboldo. It's supposed to be really good. That's yeah, good it's a here. detoxifying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, you know, the, I, I love a lot of boldo. You know, it's good for detoxifying, you know, things like that. But, yeah, I'm into herbs. I'm into herbs, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> see, there's so many <laughs> bifurcations of the topics <laughs> here. So, um, how long have you been doing the show and why did you get into communication? Uh, we've been doing it. Like I said, well, we've been doing, I used, to, I used to be part of this other show called Demo Known. And I ran with that, ran around for like two years, right? And then I created On the Mothership, which was more of an open show, open jam, right? right? And that so mentioned. I did it because um, I see it, I wanted to create a platform to promote underground artists, to promote okay. people yeah. who, who need to, to express their voice, <laughs> right. right? For whatever it is, wh whatever knowledge they have, you know, that kind of a platform. And we, you know, we've gotten a lot of underground artists coming through and like really jamming out and, and collaborating. That's right. what I love. You know, I like, you know, like I said, we might have a band jamming and then we might have like three or four MCs just ready to, just ready to freestyle. Boom. And with we got like, a vocalist. With somebody they've never met before. It, they never met before. Awesome. They put them on the spot <laughs> and they all tell me, damn, you know, they're put on the spot and then they do so well and it's awesome. And I just love to see that. Awesome. You know, that's like on the spot inspiration and creation. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody come in, you know, music wise, but also start talking about their life and oh, things absolutely, that they've gone through? for sure. We interview everyone and we go off in tangents. Like we might end up, like I said, talking about uh, you know technology, herbs, and life, whatever. You know, from their music talk, it turns into something else. Right. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like um, like a lot of musicians when they're improvising, right? They 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 they're like, how did I create that? Because you're, I believe that you're, you're connecting to like a cosmic network or mm -hmm. into, you know, there's spirits that, that reincarnate uh, in, inside of you as you're jamming. And you're like, that's not even me. How did I create that? So just like we're talking right now, the topics that were, were you know, were, were the tangents that we're flowing into, we might be influenced by spirits right now that want to speak through us. Right. So I'm into that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the most <laughs> difficult interview I've ever done. <laughs> 
because usually one person is just, okay, this is what you do, and this is something else you do as a hobby, but you're like, D -d 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 -d. yeah, we can go anywhere. So, I mean, I like to travel. I think, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll go by parts and definitely have you back because it's, it's fun. I mean, I, I, awesome, we at least, awesome. and I love talking about things, and there's, there's just so many things that people are still taboo subjects, even like, for example, spirits. I think there's there's a little bit more of an opening today with people. Do you think that people are being becoming a little I bit more aware? I think so. Oh yeah, I think so. The new generations that are coming up, they're they're opening their minds up. I think I think it's happening. You think TV mm. has affected it a little bit? You know, with, with the whole like medium shows and uh, what is it? Life after that? I don't remember the other one. The Dead Files. To tell you the truth, you ever watch TV? I don't, you know, know what's crazy? <laughs> I don't even own a TV. I mean, I do video on demand, right? Okay. Like, um, like you know, I just do YouTube. I watch a few things. I watch like Mr. Robot, you know, the hacker, um, the hacker series. Now, uh, you know, yeah, I watch That's some good. of that. You know, it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, I think people are opening up their minds for sure. Like the you know new generations. I think the digital age is is because think of it like this. I see Google as a genie. Right. <laughs> you can type anything you want to. It's DIY. <laughs> it's a genie in it's a computer. <laughs> genie, and, genie, you know, it's like Siri, Siri, and all that. You know, like Alexa and Siri. You know, like boom. I mean, you yeah, can ask them anything, and it's the artificial intelligence is like is gonna uh, is gonna be pretty heavy, and it's coming up. I mean, it's already here, but right. wait until it gets advanced and it can think for itself. You what know? do you think? Do you think that's possible for a computer I think it's to I actually think, think for it's, itself? I think it's already, it's already happening behind the scenes I don't know in the labs. If, I don't know if I believe that something, you're right, that things happen already before they're up to the public. But I don't know if it's so much as the computer thinks for itself. I think it just, with all the things that it's been programmed to think, like mm -hmm. for example, the answer of what color is this tablet, it's white, it just comes to a conclusion of it. But it's not really that it's thinking, mm. it's just adding and summing up what it's been programmed. I know what you're saying. You know? In other words, it doesn't like have it, a soul. It doesn't have a conscious. It doesn't have a conscious and a soul. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, about, what about half human and half robot, like cyborgs? Like, yeah, I, th I think you know? that... Mm, hmm. Do you think that's possible? I think it's very possible. Because there's electricity flowing through our bodies, right? Right, the energy. But that exactly. energy comes from the soul. How is it possible that that's No, soul there's actual electricity. Like, you can, you can actually measure it with a voltmeter. That's like, it's an energy. electronic device. You can measure it. If you, if you tap on it right there, boom. <laughs> Positive and negative, you're, it's going to go whoop. Right, but that's the energy that you have inside of you. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it comes out as whatever electricity yeah. you're calling it. But, but how do you, you can't, like, rem part of what gives your body that energy is your soul. I believe so too. So how are you gonna? I know what you mean. We're, yeah. we're trying to play God here. We're trying to. We're trying to. Uh, we're not. They, you know, whoever. No, no, no. Is. I'm still not we. No, I'm saying. I'm saying the engineers. I don't know what part there. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like back in the back room. There's you know <laughs> the play. crazy scientist. Crazy scientist. <laughs> the ultimate engineer. No, but they are. They are. They're, they are like. I mean, there's genetic modification. You know, genetic engineering. You know, have you heard that the first human head has been transplanted? Oh my God, I have heard about that. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they, I, I don't know if it was, what was it in the end? Like, was it real? Was it not real? I mean, they were trying to do it, but this year I think they actually did it. Damn. It was um, successful? Apparently. Damn. I think you guys Googled it. Let, let me know how it went. <clears throat> wow. But, but yeah, that's interesting, right? To think that maybe in the future we'll have half and half. I mean, there's been so many movies. I definitely believe that. Movies come from a background because producers, you know, do their research. Even the spiritual movies, like the ghost movies and all that, um, sometimes exaggerated. But mm -hmm. I think um, I don't know. What do you think about that? Do you think that movies tell us? I things think that might well, ho Hollywood or? foretells <laughs> what is to come. You know, and I, I'll I'll say something about because I'm into etymology, <clears throat> which is, is pretty much like the study of words uh, for what they really mean, right? Okay. Like for example, Hollywood. He's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Like Hollywood, right? You know that ho Hollywood, ho the holly, the ho there's a holly tree, <coughs> right? Okay. And like supposedly Merlin the magician, you know, his wand was made of holly wood. Merlin. Like it's actually wood that is made of holly. So people forget, and that's that's in other words, in other words, uh, Hollywood, it, it it does its magic on you. Okay, that's right. kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's subliminal real. messages yeah, and they're stuff? everything. <laughs> like, look at the word government, okay? Let's, let's divide that. Let, let's analyze that word. Govern for govern, governor, right. control, mm -hmm. ment for mental. Control your oh, mind. Oh, I never, ooh, I never right? thought about that. It's right, heavy, right? Me mental. Yeah. It, so or there's maybe a we're lot. mental. And look at the word, <laughs> look at the, let's look at the word time. <laughs> Spelled backwards is emit, like an emission, like a transmission. Right. right? 
<laughs> what, what, you study this or like? Yeah, I do. I do. On, online. Online. Or? Yeah, it's just another little. You know, I like to grab. You know, just a That's bunch of you know knowledge you pool mashup. You know, just to know a little bit of everything. So yeah, so you could talk about you know going different yeah, tangents. Anything. Yeah, anything. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're Brazilian. We're part of Brazil. Where are you from? São Paulo. São Paulo. São Paulo. A place where today. What's going on in Sao Paulo? Well, Do you know? I mean, have you been back? I haven't been there <laughs> like in about six years, you know, but I got a lot of family there. I love Brazil. I love the carnival. I love the beats, you know. I'm a drummer. It's not, not, not you know, beats, beats are in our blood, you know. Beats, are, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of crime. I mean, I don't like to talk bad about my country, you know, but I like to be realistic. There's a lot of crime. You got to watch out, you know. Like, be, be careful. Don't, don't be with your cell phone. You know, they'll come out and just grab your cell phone. Right. And there's things like, you know, like La Favela, you know, and Crac Cracolandia is like the terrible thing, which is a whole zone of crack addicts, right? It's really? terrible. It's really sad. And there's like a I lot of that. I thought La Favela was yeah. like as bad as it could get. The favela, they don't call it the favela now. They call it a comunidad. The community, com right, it's been switched. <laughs> but, it sounds but nicer, at least. It sounds nicer, you know, but, yeah, I know. Because we have a corrupt government over there. You know, I mean, we, the, the, the pre uh, Dilma Rousseff has been impeached. You know, she, was, she, was, she stole billions, if not trillions, of reais from, from right. the country. Well, where is that you not know? happening? I mean, with Yeah, it's true. Uh, I know. You know. It's human nature, too. right? Yeah. No, I don't think it's human nature. Ooh. I just think it's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean... I think people that do that, it's just maybe because they weren't brought up in the right way or are missing something or are empty and they think that money's going to... I like your explanation. I I'm not saying it's right, but, you know, some people think that money's going to just be able to cover up the holes that they have from the emptiness. That's good. Soul, right? I like that. I don't know. Don't yeah. steal it. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were in touch with somebody from Sao Paulo a little bit ago and they, oh. and they mentioned that there's this big, like, double system where apparently the government is trying to... Um, I guess be super conservative and they're trying to go against like the nudist beaches or people that are in different lifestyles. Is that true? I, I, just I haven't took heard it as about like that. They're, they're trying to restrict people and stuff yeah. like that. Um, I haven't like, kept up like with that. Like but they're going to have a hard time because I'll tell you during carnival, you know, like <laughs> you know, there's a few ladies just like you, like that, you know, like dancing like that, you know what I mean? And it's like, we're used to that. It's part of our culture, you know, it's beautiful. Exposed beauty, you know what I mean? Like, yo, yeah. I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> is, whoa, I am overwhelmed by tangents. Just an analog man <laughs> in a digital world. <laughs> I know. He knows so much, right? It's like, okay, slow down a little bit. We're, we're. Okay. Um, where, where were we even? Oh, yeah. We, went to we were talking about On the Mothership. Yeah, the show. Right. We, we talked a little bit about that. <laughs> we can, like I said, we can travel anywhere. You know, I love, I, I love how, you know, oh, you take it Oh, this is where anywhere. I was going with yeah. the Brazil. Okay. Yeah. So being from Brazil, what age, uh, what age did you come here? Um, I came here at about uh, 12. Oh, same, same here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Brazilian people are very spiritual people. They right? are. They're very Christian and stuff like that. Really? But very Christianity? Yeah, either? like 75% Christian, you know, okay. like Catholic. You know. So what can you tell yeah. us about like the well, underground spiritual the world underground. Of <laughs> I can tell you a lot because I know how to play all the macumba rhythms. Candomblé, macumba. You know, like should, I, should we be afraid? <laughs> oh, watch out! No, 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 no! It's all peaceful. I'm, I'm only in the, in, into the, you know, positive magic. Right. Okay. You know? So yeah, there's like I said, there's a lot of like there's I lived in battle over the world. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. I lived in a place called Bahia. Right. And that's like the soulful. Um, that's like the, the more of the spiritual place. And I remember walking around like in the beaches, and. I was like, I was real young. I was with my grandma, and she's like, yo, watch out. Don't, don't, don't step on, don't go near that, that hole right there. And, like, I would look in there, and there was wine and a bunch of candles. So there was, like, a little ritual that went on there, you know, so you don't step too close to that. But uh, I learned Just a lot. like, in the middle of the yeah. street? No, no, in the middle oh. of the beach, like, these little dugouts. Oh, you know I mean? like, and nobody, like, does anything. Yeah, no, they don't go near it because there's been, there's been a, 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 there's some works there, you know what I mean? Like, there was something. So it's like bad luck know? if you touch it. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what's been going on there. I can so imagine like, the tourists yeah. like, oh, look. Yeah, oh, no, look. Oh, look. Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, there's some wine. No, don't touch that wine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Latin America is full of its, you know, mysteries when it comes to spirituality. Um, do you think that Spanish people, Brazilian people are a little bit more perceptive, perceptive to things or to people even? I do. I do. Why do you um, think that is? I think that even the language in itself, you know, uh, like all... Uh, Latin originated languages came from Romance languages, so it's more expressive in the nature of the language in itself. Uh -huh. And I think that um, people are more open over there, you know, like because ang the Anglo Saxon culture is more closed off, you know, and the Iberic uh, uh, Peninsula, um, you know, in other words, 
the, the Spaniards and the Portuguese, you know, who, who uh, discovered the South America uh, uh, parts were more, were more they, they bring a different culture than okay. the Anglo-Saxons or whatever. So I think that, you know, that origin right there Influence. for being a more, you know, open kind of uh, society influenced them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So have you had any personal experience with spirits or, you know, the paranormal world, I guess you could say? Um, well, when I did some shrooms, it was <laughs> real heavy. I mean, I was talking to all kinds of like, you know, spirits. I mean, it was so heavy. I mean, I actually... Uh, I was not expecting yeah. that, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's true. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, I'm into meditation. I do rituals and I communicate with different spirits too, you know, like that. But you need a shrooms to do... To well, no, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't need, I don't need substances to, to engage, but it just, it's like a trigger. It's it so, happens. it's so much easier. It's like, it's like, it's like as if the, the spirits like shrooms. Like, if you do, if you do shrooms, I'll come and talk to you. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? <laughs> God. Boy, I thought shrooms were bad because it, it also no. hurt your neurons and stuff. I no, mean, no, no, not that, not that. that. That's good. It's natural. He's it's saying good. that's good. It's He's good. trying to convince himself that's good. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean, no, no, like, but you like keep I said. thinking that it's good, okay? <laughs> do not do shrooms. <laughs> oh, is there a specific type of shroom that... I, I like Amanita muscaria. It's a very long name. Yeah, okay. it's actually red and white. And actually, I got something to say about that, too. Okay, um, um, it, like if you go back to the Roman times, right? Okay. There was actually, a, 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 in, in, in those times, there was something celebrated called Saturnalia, right? And what they did in Saturnalia during the, uh, you know, when, during the win winter solstice time and what we call Christmas now, mm -hmm. um, they used to, um, <laughs> you know, they used to have the socks, you know, the, the whole tradition with the socks and everything like that. They would put this red and white mushroom in the socks and then, and then people would, would ingest those mushrooms. And it was a whole ritual. And that was done in Rome. You know, hmm. and people don't know that. Like the red, the Santa Claus, you know, we're wearing red and white like that is because comes the, from because, mushrooms. Yeah, com no, I'm serious. If you look it up, yeah, I totally it's believe It's pretty you. crazy. I mean, so it's like a lot of it's like. Funny. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. I believe this. <laughs> yeah, so there's. All I think kinds we just killed a lot of little kids' spirits. You know. Oh crap! Now nah, I don't want to do that. You know. Yeah, but I love like, Santa Claus. So yeah. like, Santa Claus is representative of mushrooms. <laughs> Where hey. do you buy these? Like, are these just? Things that you can eat, or you actually have to do something to them to. You get can an actually. Effect. Well, I don't want to talk about like where you can get. You you can buy the spores, and then you can grow it. You know, you can grow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But it's not like, like mushrooms that you get like a. No, it's not the regular public <laughs> mushroom. Like that, that won't really do much. For you. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> like, <laughs> and you just eat them. Yeah, you just eat them. Yeah. And okay, and what do you feel like? Take me through it. All right. Um. Well, the whole thing will probably last about four and a half hours, right? Oh, that's long. One mushroom. Yeah. Well, no, you eat like about probably like about two and a half. To three different little. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were you gonna know. say a whole bag. No whole like bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you never come back like the office. Oh no, 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 <laughs> nothing like that. No, no, no. No, but um, what what starts happening? You pro probably. I mean, some. It depends. It's different for everyone. But what happens to me is that um, I start probably like um, being able to talk to different spirits or hearing voices, you know, talking to me. But like, but positive, okay, so yeah. you eat the mushrooms. Yeah. You lay like, what do you do? You lay there. You can lay. You, you can lay there. Oh yeah, you can float around. You can have out of body experiences like. Really, like you, you can feel meditate. Really dizzy? Um, no, nah, not really, not dizzy. Okay, pretend you just ate a mushroom. Pretend, okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, yeah. T and take us through the the feeling. Let's see. Um, well, I would probably start hearing different voices talking to me. To, you know. Uh, in English. And maybe Portuguese, in Portuguese Spanish? sometimes. Yeah. Portuguese. Okay. In Portuguese. Yeah, and they would probably be like, um, like. Maybe ancestors. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, some ancestors. Um, and yeah, they, why they would they start Portuguese? talking about life, huh? Why would it be in Portuguese? It could be in Portuguese. You know, because you're in Miami. It could be different languages. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they, they would no start Cuban talking. Accents. It could be some Cuban. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, though, for some Cuban accents. Yeah. Here I was thinking that Santa Claus red and white uniform came from the Coca-Cola ad. That's oh, what I thought. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that's where I came from. <laughs> like, um, yeah, we're, we're... You know what? These are all different points of view, but I think... We can research it, right? And see of course. That, I mean, we, no, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I motivate it. Yeah, I, I advise everyone to research this, and you're going to see that. It's yeah, really there's a lot more. It's interesting if you think yeah. about it. And it kind of makes it everything more interesting, right? It does. Like, it's it does. no longer a commercial. It's like, ooh, there's all this, you know, mystery behind it that we've never heard before until you came here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you start talking. Yeah, I, I would probably How like. How many people you normally talk to? You? 
oh wow, there's like, a bunch. Like, does it always happen? Like, or just sometimes. Uh, no, I would have. Diff I have different people that will come in the room, you know, and start talking you to me. You see them, or you just hear them? No, I just hear them. Okay. I just hear them, and they'll talk about life. They're like, you know, what are you doing with your life? Are you doing, you know, are you are you helping others? You know, I'll start getting into really positive positive directions like you know you need to do they this they nag you, at you yeah they do they make me work <laughs> they're like you got to do this you got to do this and we're, there you we're are the elders. eating mushrooms <laughs> yeah they're like we're the elders you have to do this yes elder. so what do they tell you to do they tell me to create create a show called on the mothership <laughs> and to no, bring, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no they did they did they really okay, did okay okay yeah. um they told me to get to get into bitcoins you know really? to build to build capital yeah, to get other friends into Bitcoin. You know how many people I've gotten into Bitcoin? Like 10 people, 10 know, friends. That's really good, yeah. For real. You got to get so in. It's funny. Yeah. I was just talking about that yesterday with somebody. Well, you know, the guy that I told you to invite your, to your show, yeah. um, The Real Toasted, uh, he had, well, he's going to tell you, but he had yeah. an experience, and they told him that he needed to start doing positive rap music. I love it. See? I, so I told that's you. See, why, it's like, all. I laughed because you were laughing, so I wasn't sure if you were joking. No, no, I'm serious. I just laugh because I'm happy. You know, right, like, right. it's an expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. But I'm very I, serious. I actually totally believe that. Like, I think that, um, again, I'm not saying go do drugs, but I'm saying take your no, time yeah. to meditate, take your time to relax, and you never know who's going to come through and maybe just talk to you or exactly. give you an idea. Sometimes maybe you don't hear anybody because you're not on shrooms. But yeah. <laughs> again, if you do deep meditations and you practice them enough, you don't need to do anything. Yeah, no. You yeah. will just get spoken to. And um, and yeah, I mean, even even like me, I will meditate for a lot of hours and then I'll go a time without meditating and then I'll start wondering all these things and complaining about, oh, I should do this, I should do that. And then I'm like, Okay, so take a step back. Why do we do that? Like, why do we get so caught up? And it's like, no, you just need to lay back. And so you talk to them too. Oh, what <laughs> awesome. See? I'm sure I don't talk I to the knew. same ones, okay? <laughs> well, they're here right now. You know, I'm bringing them to your, to your, to your studio. Great. So you I'll, know, I'll so have to learn Portuguese. Yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> so, okay, so what exactly did they mention to you? Did they have to do a show? Why? To, to help others. To, okay. help, to help the starving artists. To help those... Who, who need to be heard Creativity. to help those just like me because I I was unknown and I want to be known I want to be known to, to, you know to the world so I want to make others known also so I want to elevate everyone I want I want if I come up everyone comes up all all those around me you know that's that's real that's like I like to see others prevail and rise you know I think that's the main problem with people is that most people rather just step on somebody else's head and actually get up on the line. It's and terrible. that's where karma comes back and takes it all away. Uh, people like you, you know, that you are actually yearning for others around you to succeed are always going to be successful. Always. No matter what it is that you do. And, and if something doesn't go right, it's because maybe you need to continue where you were and what you were doing. Um, but it's just... It's how the universe works. You know, you have to give, give, give without thinking of getting I back, believe so. so. Yeah. Exactly. So it was, I thought the same thing about Santa Claus, the Coca-Cola ad. <laughs> <laughs> As George Carlin used to say, far out, man. Far out, you mean like the shroom feeling? Is that what we're I <laughs> love George Carlin. Yeah, George <laughs> Carlin's awesome. So how long does this go for? Like you actually, do you have full conversations with them? Full or conversations. Or you just listen to them? Oh, I just listen to them. No, I have conversations back and forth. Does it ever like, feel like it's overwhelming, like too many are talking at the same time, or do they take their Yeah, that, that's happened before. That's happened before. Um, so I'm like, yeah, you know, come on. Only Relax. Two, only two at a time. One at a time. Come <laughs> on, come on. <laughs> mellow out. <laughs> do you actually know the difference on their voices? Like you know it's I do. a different person? I do. I do. Yeah. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's like a text, though. It's not like a voice. It's like a text. It's like mm -hmm. I'll receive their words on, like in my your, brain. Like it's your, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like you think it's you, but usually there yeah. is some kind of tone of voice or some kind of, like you know it's not you. R no, you know it's not you. Right. It, th in other words, it's external. Right. right. You're like, wait, that's not me. Because you're not thinking about that. It just comes to your mind. And, but when you talk to people about this, stuff, you know, I, I, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's funny that you think you're crazy. I mean, this is a normality. When people talk to me about this, I'm like, yeah, some, you got some spirits. Um, you know, wh what do they talk to you about? I mean, I'm, just, I'm so serious about it, you know. It's like. Because it's so real. It's like, so why do people, you know, it's like, why do people think, you know, they laugh about aliens? This is real stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know. That's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's so real. So why, why do you feel like you're opening up? Like, have you always opened up about this? Or is this the first time that you actually... No, I always, I open up about this anytime. You don't anytime. care about what anybody has to say? No, no. Oh, you mean like, wh you mean what am I expressing right here? Like, right no, 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 like, like, you're, like you're talking about your experiences with spirits and stuff. Yeah. Like you've done that before normally. Oh, oh yeah, this is a normal okay. thing. Like, and I, and I like others to, uh, others who, who do the same. 
willing to talk about it, you know? And I mean, that's, why not have an open conversation about that, you know? Right. Like, let's talk about the real world, all these manifestations, all this, ab all these abstract, you know, things that exist, right? <coughs> yeah. So uh, that paranormal-wise, now, have you ha ever had an alien experience? I, I can't talk about that. Yeah. I, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed. Yeah, I'm not allowed. Yeah, you know, I can't talk about that. Oh, yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah, well, um... Okay. They told you know I, I'm, I'm under a, 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 a it's a type of a stellar contract yeah right you know the, the actual experience I can't talk about but Th I'm that's kind of silly because yeah. he just said that he has <laughs> without saying anything he's just admitted that you had <laughs> it's, it's a it's a well, it's a non-disclosure alien agreement do you, um I actually those are kind of expiring right now <laughs> in case you didn't know <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> Like everybody that never that couldn't talk expired? about yeah. no, but everybody that had experiences trouble, you know? that never talked about this Stella stuff. Stellar court, cosmic court, you know, it's, it's heavy. <laughs> like yo, 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 oh my god, you know I saw I mean? a movie the other day that it was kind of like that. It was the, uh, I don't remember the name. It was um, like there was a president of space. Yeah, <laughs> I really love it. Stupid. I love it. Yeah, I'll find the name for you guys because I'm sure you'd be like, what movie is it? Anyway, um, well, do you feel like there is more? There are more people coming up, you know, coming about of to talk about their experiences today? For sure. I mean, there's so many more, some. like, even YouTube videos. Well, see, people are afraid to be made fun of sometimes because, right. you know, because if you come out like that and then you're going to be made ridiculed, you know, oh, this guy's crazy, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, but that's the thing. I guess it depends you know. on your job also, you know. And exactly. Yeah. I, it's terrible. It's terrible that society works that way, you know, yeah. like, yeah. So it's like, but that's why it's cool to create platforms just like this one right here where we could talk about it, you know, and the fans love it, the followers and your listeners love what we're saying, you know, they're like resonating, like, wow, this is it's cool, I can relate He's to this. He's reading your you mind. Know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, without talking about any experience, just your opinions. Do, um, do you think that there is aliens amongst us? For sure, for sure. Okay. Well, I believe that... What makes you believe that? Because, um, I, I, I mean, there is talk about, you ever heard of the, uh, it's called junk DNA. There's like an alien DNA that supposedly was infused in the human DNA. Never heard of that. Um, and so, like, yeah, uh, I, I, I can't talk about it too much intellig in in intelligently. Like, I haven't delved into it. Just opinion-wise. But, um, well. Because, I mean, nothing that we say here about this is yes. proven fact. So it's just, you know, talking about a subject and exchanging ideas. That's all it is. Well, really, when you say, like I said, when you say alien, it just means not of this earth. So, right, I mean, we are, we're, we're partly of this earth, right? I mean, but we're not like other animals and things like that. Like, we are pretty advanced, right? Like, and just the thought. Just you think, think we're advanced? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, right. We're primal. We yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you're no, right. No, but I know what you mean. I mean, compared to, I guess, no. There's some animals that are more advanced than us. The elephant is definitely more. The advanced dolphins. Than us. Dolphins. Dolphins. More advanced than us. You're right. Well, just, just, just having the thought. Okay, who implanted the thought of you believing in aliens or a god? Like, you know, that's interesting that we automatically like, you know, gravitate to that. Isn't isn't that or people gravitate in believing in a in a higher, higher power in a god like is that something infused in, infused in our genetic that inclines us to believe that who kn Wh why is who it? knows who invented it right yeah but i think it all comes from religion and ha needing to have a power or control over people in my opinion and that's just something that we're born into where I mean, you're born into this culture. It, yeah. So it is in your genetics in a way because it's an idea that you're brought up into knowing. I mean, oh, there's a God, and if you do bad, you sin, and if you do good, you this. But I think today kids are, they're so, more, so much more enlightened. Beyond that. Yeah. Well, that think about this. Check, think about the word God, G-O-D, and G-O-O-D, good and God, and then, uh -huh. and then evil, and then put a D, and that's devil. That's hilarious right there. It's like. What is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> This is just beyond creepy, okay? <laughs> and you know what? You would think that these are things that everybody would know because it's it's so like blunt, like it's exactly. right there, it's in front of you. It's in front of you. You know the truth. Oh is my god! And look at the word. What you about know, in like Spanish? In Spanish, Spanish, it doesn't work. Only in English. yeah, it doesn't work. But look at the word <laughs> spell, right? Like, what does a witch drop? She drops a spell, and when you spell a word, so it's like a word has power. You know what I mean? When you say it. You know what I mean? Like it has a has a well yeah. frequency. I, well, of course. I mean, the tone of your voice has a specific frequency and a specific energy. When you talk to somebody on the phone, they pick up the phone. They're like, "Hello," mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. They're what happened? <laughs> they're like, "Hi," or like, yeah, "Oh," and, you, and they make it's you powerful. smile. So just sound, and yeah. and, and the word earth, right? There's ear in it. E A R T H okay. E A R. So you're hearing ear. The ear is on is in earth. 
the sound, the frequency. No, not no. really. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones are good. That one's like, yeah, um, that one. <laughs> I was thinking it would have something to do with life, but the ear, ear and earth. Well, who knows? <laughs> oh my God. Religion was invented by the guy in the tribe who didn't want to work for a living. For a living. Wow, that's heavy. I like that. Yeah, that's true. I like that one. This, I mean, I don't think we can go back in history to really know who invented a religion. Yeah, that's difficult. There's a lot. I mean, any you, religion. I mean, is yeah. is there like a a person? Mm -hmm. No. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Do you know how many deities were born on December twenty fifth? I can name you a bunch. How many what? Deities. Okay. There's there's Jesus, right? Okay. There's Mithra. Okay. There's Horus. There's Zoroaster. What's a deity? A deity is a an entity. For okay. example, you know, December twenty fifth. Um, you know, there's like, like I said, if we go back to Samaria, right? Um, Mithra, right? which the word myth comes out of, you know, Mithra, was born on December 25th of a virgin. You know the whole story, like... I never of, heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, have you ever seen Zeitgeist, maybe? Zeitgeist. Mm. It's a conspiracy, you know, theory inclined, but, you know, kind of documentary. But it talks about religion. It maps, you know, it talks about, re it talks about religion. It talks about 9-11. It talks about a lot of, a lot of topics in 9-11. I think I've heard of it, but I haven't, I haven't watched it, no. Yeah, but, but yeah, all I'm saying is that um, the greatest story ever told is, is the story, the biblical story, mm -hmm. you know, um, the Bible of Jesus. It goes far, be far way back beyond that, like way back to, to beyond Christianity, which mm -hmm. was, which was uh, uh, back, w you know, in Samaria, where it was modern day Iraq, mm. right? So that story has been told over and over. It's the greatest story ever told. Humans, humans like to create stories. To, 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 to try to explain things, you know? Hmm. But it's just a story. You know? Do you believe in, um, you know, how there's so much, I guess, information nowadays and so much proof that uh, maybe some of the buildings in the world, like pyramids and everything, like, or even in Peru, I were actually made by beings from other I do. I do, I do. Um, <laughs> I think the, the, the geometry was very advanced in it. I, I don't know how they, you know, how they put so much work into it to create that. Mm -hmm. Like, it must have taken so much, you know, yeah. and, and, and so precise. So they were very advanced ma mathematically even back then. So that's like very knowledgeable for an ancient culture. You know? And how about the idea, some people think that we even might come from, we might be an experiment of other I heard about that too. Aliens. Like, yeah, I heard about that too. That we, I think there's yeah. a religion about that. Like, there's a religion. Isn't it Scientology? No, it's not Scientology, um, is it? That we come from aliens or yes, that yes, there's yes. no God, there's actually remember. a... Yes, I, I don't know what you're talking. Yes, and well, actually, the, it, it supposedly uh, um, we were supposed, you know, we were created to mine gold, supposedly, because it's a, it's, it's one of the best conducers in the world. It's a good conductor. It's a, it's a that's why it's such gold? a value. Gold, G O L D. Hmm. And think yeah, about yeah. this, <laughs> G O L D, G O D. The L oh. is the only letter. That's good. Yeah. Isn't that strange? <laughs> is there like a website for this? <laughs> <laughs> there is. There, there are well, many. There, there many. must be like um, one just just like tons. a Wikipedia for. I mean, what, what am I looking tons. for? Just If you put, uh, if you if you just type in etymology, which is E T Y M O, uh, E T Y M O L O G Y etymology. You know, or just type conspiracy theories or what so or zeitgeist. This is, this is just somebody that came up with the ideas of this. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it could be traced to sto well, which one? The the one everything about like the every religion? word, every word that. Oh, we, etymology. That said. Oh, it goes way back. See, I don't know how far back that goes. That's an interesting question. That's, some, that's another research. Yeah, they're also ideas, right? Yeah, exactly. Like words. Like who? Yeah, who created? Who created the word? Who created language? You know, <laughs> like yeah. I God, know. we're gonna be here forever, <laughs> 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 trying to figure all this out. <laughs> but we're trying to, you know, help the world here. Okay, it's very, very important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so going back to UFOs, I guess because. Um, I mean, I was so intrigued to actually interview him because of right after we interviewed uh, the real Toasted, which we spoke about aliens, uh, he comes up <laughs> and it says, you know, the mothership. So that's why I wanted to kind of focus on that for today. But um, do you think that there's there's good of them and good and evil? Like there's good ones and I bad do. races? I do. Okay. I do. Um, yeah, it's 
just out of an idea? Yeah, because I don't know for a fact, but I believe, yeah, because you could, you could say spirits are kind of alien, because, you know, think about, think about nanoorganisms, you know, mm -hmm. microscopic organisms, they could be nano aliens, like you can't see them, <laughs> but they're actually <laughs> here, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, okay. So it's possible like that also. Somebody did an article, uh, um, it was, I think it was like an, an important newspaper, they did an article about the, yeah, that conspiracy apparently, that yeah. there's this, a specific type of um, microbio, como se dice? A uh, uh, microbe? Microbe, microbe there microbe, you go. Yeah. My Spanish and English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that apparently goes into your ears or oh, and yeah. tells you things. Or, oh, that's heavy. Or yeah. actually goes into your brain and makes you, you know, like buy certain things or crave certain things. You know things. what? There's technology. And it's, right and it's on food. I read that and of course we all laughed about it. Um, but then now that you said it, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's government I mean there's there's technology I don't know if and, I can you know I don't know if I can allow myself to believe in something like that that would just be like so what if I what if I told you that's there's, just there's like a too flag? much yeah, I mean like yeah, there's yeah. is it would be too much honestly well I mean oh and worms like there's a specific type well yeah no that was different I'm thinking of another topic <laughs> I just went somewhere else you know what wait what if you were to tell me what all right there's a fly that it's there's a fly that's electronic mm -hmm. that can basically be radio controlled that the government has and it can fly around and spy on you. And yeah, I'm sure I believe in know, that. there's yeah. things like that. So I, I mean, they just invented a goddamn mosquito. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like that is supposed to kill Zika. Oh, crap. Yeah, I know. The genetically modified Gordia. GMO mosquito. I, you I know? got a call from what? university yeah. saying if I was okay with them spraying, releasing oh those my God, in my neighborhood. And uh, it was from a university, and I said that I wasn't okay because then who's going to kill that mosquito? <laughs> and you never know what kind of, I mean, if it's something that they just invented. And then at the end of the conversation, like after 30 minutes of speaking to this very, very nice woman, because it was a survey, yeah. she said, well, um, what would you say if I told you that they've already released it? Oh, my God, these people. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, great, we just wasted half an hour of, you know, what do you think and what do you this? And so, yeah, everything could be altered, I guess. Well, just like foods, foods are being altered, you know, genetically modified foods, you know, GMO is like, I mean, it's, it's mutations of foods. And yeah. when we eat that, we mutate, they're mutating us. They're mutating us through their experiment. That's, 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 that's bad. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nasty. I mean, we well, got to, you know, stay away from that GMO corn. 75% of corn is ge genetically modified. You know really? That. Yeah. Watch oh, out with man, the corn. Oh, man, I love corn. Yo, get the good <laughs> corn. I mean, make sure it's non-GMO. But then what if, but then what if they're selling like, Is that you why know, they're so shitty? Yeah. I don't think I've terrible. had a good corn in Miami for like yeah. ever. <laughs> <That's>, it's <laughs> oh hard to get God. corn these days. I'm telling <laughs> you. Like, damn, I'm trying to get good corn. I love corn. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. We're definitely going to have you back if you would like to because I, I think to. we kind of like diverged to so many different topics. Maybe next time you can actually stay in one. You guys can participate more. <laughs> but um, a modern renaissance man, well-read and widely informed, an interesting exchange, good stuff. <laughs> Um, so how about we just finish up in the UFO story for today? Uh, the non-experience that you had. <laughs> Do you think that there is going to be some kind of UFO invasion where, there, where, where they will actually maybe even be seen by millions of people? I hope the, uh, the, good, a the good aliens come down. You know? First? Yeah, exactly. Because Before the yeah, bad ones? Because people are so afraid of aliens. Yeah. You know? So I, I hope it's a positive experience when they do come down. Yeah. And I hope they, they let me know before they come down. So, so yeah. um, the good aliens, let's call them that. Yeah. Um, why do you think that they would want to come here? Um, because there's so many people that, that love them. Yeah, that's why. To help humanity? Yeah, to, um, to inspire us. Okay. To, to lead that us into the right break, direction. That would break um, religions. Exactly, it that would. would be That's a good chaotic, thing. The truth, the truth must be revealed. It would still revealed. be chaotic, you know that, right? You're right about that. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I know, I know but a lot of, yep. But maybe it's a necessary step, who knows? It's a necessary step. All right, guys, I think we're about, we're, no tenemos más tiempo, no? Se nos terminó tiempo? Three minutes. In three minutes, three minutes, what three would minutes. you want to say about your show um, oh, yeah. for people that want to watch it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's music. When exactly? It's four, three hours or four hours? It's three hours, yeah. So it's every, every Saturday from, from 9 to 12. Uh, tomorrow we're having an episode with a lot of holistic uh, 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 you know, doctors and things like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, www.themunknown.tv. And uh, also check us out, uh, check us out uh, on the mothership. It's on dot the dot mothership and you can follow me and that's line medias that's the l-i-n-e-m-e-d-i-a-s 
And uh, yeah, you know, you, uh, you have a lot of different content. Like I said, I'm into drumming, I'm into DJing, I'm into a lot of stuff. And if you want to come on to our show, you know, uh, let us know. Give us a shout. And we definitely want to have Jenny on, on our show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the last three hours. <laughs> we'll see. But so you do music? Interview, music, interview? Yeah, um, it's kind of like, yeah, we take it in different directions. Uh, we usually start off uh, with, with DJs, you know, and then we go into like a round table, you know, and then sometimes we might bring a, uh, some people jamming, like a band, and then we might have to bring some rappers, and we might bring a vocalist, and then we might have some dancers dancing to some of the music. Cool and stuff. then, uh, yeah, and, and, so we ha and then we have our friend Tubby, who's an extraterrestrial entity that comes, you know, he visits us sometimes, and he'll get on the mic. He you looks know? human, right? <laughs> um, well, now he's like, yeah. eh, you're gonna have to watch. You have to, you have to come by. <laughs> yeah, you'll meet him. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much for being with us, and uh, we'll see you back soon, I guess. Awesome! And, um, Thank you for having me. I hope you, I hope you were comfortable in our naked. I love court. it. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow him. And uh, see you in the next Naked Report. Let's see who shows up. Bye, guys. <laughs>